Accelerometer. The accelerometer is the sensor that tells your phone which way is up, down, or sideways. It measures changes in motion and orientation by detecting acceleration forces. That's how your screen knows to flip from portrait to landscape the moment you rotate the phone. Without it, racing games wouldn't respond when you tilt the device, and fitness apps couldn't track your steps. It's highly reliable for movement detection, and it works silently in the background. But it can sometimes be too sensitive, flipping your screen when you don't want it to, or miscounting steps with small movements. Gyroscope. The gyroscope adds precision to the accelerometer. Instead of just knowing if the phone is tilted, it can tell the exact angle and direction of rotation. That's what makes virtual reality, augmented reality, and 360-degree videos possible on a smartphone. Think about aiming in a shooting game or navigating with Google Maps in AR mode. That accuracy comes from the gyroscope. It excels at fine-grained motion tracking, but the downside is that it can drift over time, meaning it sometimes needs calibration. Magnetometer. This is the built-in compass of your phone. It senses Earth's magnetic field and tells you which way is north. Maps wouldn't feel as natural without it. You'd be turning in circles trying to orient yourself. The magnetometer shines in navigation, but it struggles indoors or near strong magnets, where interference can throw it off. Still, it's the reason your phone always knows where you're facing. Proximity sensor. The proximity sensor is tiny but clever. It detects when something is close to your screen usually with infrared light. That's why the display turns off when you hold the phone to your ear during a call. It saves battery and prevents accidental touches. It's great at simple, low power detection, but it has limits. It can get confused by dirt, screen protectors, or bright sunlight. Ambient light sensor. This sensor measures how bright your surroundings are. It adjusts your screen's brightness automatically so it's comfortable to look at in any setting. In the dark, it dims the display to save your eyes and your battery. In the sun, it cranks up the brightness so you can still see. It works well most of the time, but sometimes it's a step behind your actual needs, leaving the screen either too bright or too dim for a few seconds. Fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor has become one of the most familiar security tools on a phone. It scans the unique ridges of your finger and matches them to your stored print for quick unlocking. Fast, secure, and incredibly convenient, no passwords needed. Whether placed on the back, side, or under the screen, it gives you instant access. But it's not perfect. Wet or greasy fingers can cause it to fail, and cheaper sensors may struggle with accuracy. Face recognition sensor. Face unlock feels futuristic. Using infrared sensors and sometimes dot projectors, it maps the contours of your face in 3D. It's how your phone can unlock the moment you glance at it. It's secure, quick, and seamless when it works right, but it has its flaws. Poor lighting, sunglasses, or even masks can trip it up. Still, it's one of the most natural ways we interact with our phones. Barometer. The barometer measures air pressure. At first glance, that seems odd for a smartphone, but it improves location tracking. By detecting changes in altitude, it helps your GPS pinpoint whether you're on the ground floor or the 10th story of a building. That makes navigation and fitness tracking more accurate. It's strong in outdoor environments, but weather conditions can affect readings, so it's not flawless. Heart rate sensor. Some smartphones include a dedicated heart rate sensor near the camera. By shining light into your skin and detecting blood flow changes, it measures your pulse. Perfect for fitness and health apps, it gives quick readings without extra equipment. It's simple and effective, but less accurate than medical grade devices or smartwatches built specifically for health tracking. Infrared sensor. This one often hides in plain sight. Infrared sensors can be used for face detection, proximity checks, or even as part of an IR blaster that turns your phone into a remote control. They work fast and don't need visible light, which is why face unlock still works in the dark. But they're limited in range and can't capture detail the way cameras do. GPS receiver. While technically part of the connectivity system, the GPS chip acts like a sensor. It listens to satellites and calculates your exact location anywhere on Earth. It powers maps, ride-hailing apps, fitness trackers, and even weather forecasts. GPS is incredibly accurate outdoors, but it struggles in tunnels, indoors, or places with weak satellite visibility. Hall sensor, a small but clever sensor. The Hall sensor detects magnetic fields. 
It's often used in flip covers to know when your case is closed or open, turning the screen on or off automatically. Simple, energy efficient, and reliable, though its use is narrow compared to others. Smartphone sensors are the quiet intelligence of modern devices. They see, feel, and measure the world around you, all without you noticing. Each one might seem small, but together they transform a slab of glass and metal into something almost alive. If you'd like to explore those hidden, futuristic layers of phone technology, make sure to subscribe and stick around. The next story might just change the way you look at your phone.